Good Sunday morning, good people of YouTube. Just looking out of the window there, it's raining. And if you watch, you might just catch some leaves falling off the trees. I thought it was snowing originally, but it's it's rain coming down. And snow, sorry, leaves coming down off the trees. And I've just noticed the next door neighbours have got the washing hanging up outside, so they won't be pleased. But wintry weather. Hi guys, Michelle's finished a book, so we've got a book review. So, I've, uh, I was looking on my Goodreads this morning and I had eight books in progress and I was like, how did that happen? <laughs> and I'm working on a, a read along with a friend of mine at the moment. Um, we're reading Map of Days together, so that's been really good in between reading chapters of Map of Days with Leanne I finished Caraval by Stephanie Garber now this one was all over booktube last year and I had it on order and it never came and it never came and it never came and then my copy of Legendary which is the sequel to Caraval actually arrived before my copy of Caraval did so, um, Caraval is set in uh, a made up world. It follows the, the story of two sisters, Scarlett and Donatella, who have a, a strained relationship with their abusive father. They get tickets to a game called Caraval and the story follows Scarlet's journey through the game and her eventual uh, her hopeful and eventual reward of, of winning the wish which is the, the prize for winning Caraval and it was actually just a really, really good read. It was a bit slow in places. Um, I think some of it didn't need to happen the way that it did. A lot of plot twists, a lot of plot turns. It didn't end the way I expected it to. And in actual fact, it ended on a massive cliffhanger. And had I read it last year, I would have been itching for the sequel to find out what happens next. As it turns out, the sequel's actually in my library for me to carry on and read next. So it's a really, really good book. I, if anyone's ever read Erin Morgenstern's The Night Circus, it's very much sort of like that. And I absolutely loved The Night Circus. Um, it's full of whimsy and magic um, mystery. Yeah, all in all, it's a it's a really really good read, and I highly recommend it. I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads. Um, like I say, it was a bit slow in places, and had it not been, it would have got five stars. So highly recommended to read. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to starting Legendary, which is the sequel. Carval, which was released earlier on this year. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned for more of Michelle's book reviews when she read, finishes reading that one today. You'll finish that one today, won't you? Um, possibly. possibly. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, guys, I'm going to nip out to the shop, get some food uh, for our tea, and then we're going to settle down and watch the brand new Doctor Who what starts this evening and I can't wait personally I'm big big fan of the show so let's get out for a ride pick up some food and get back eat our tea and watch Doctor Who
guys, that's me at the shop, and I can say it's very windy. The car's been blown about all over the place. Never mind. Let's go and get food and get off home. Okay guys, we've just been catching up on A Discovery of Witches, the fourth program. Now I'm going to try it again. What did you think? You tell me first. It's still a girl's book. It's a love story. Uh, it's not started yet, so I'm, how many programs are, it, are there? Uh, I don't know. I've been most disappointed that there's six. Because that was the fourth one, and um, it's really for me. It's just a bit slow getting going. Um, but I think it's picking up now, so I'll, I'm going to have to watch it next week because it's hooped me a bit. So my opinion is it should they could have probably half the episodes what they've just shown, but it's building up. Your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So did what happened then what you expected to happen? Yes. It rained. It's witch water. Ah, oh, so last week we had wind, now we got water. Do we get fire next week? I'm guessing. Well yeah, I I will watch it again. Hopefully it picks up and gets a little bit more exciting for me because it's still just a love story, isn't it? Essentially, that's what it will boil down to, is a love story, yes. Anyway, we're going to watch the brand new series of, what is it, series? I can't remember what the number is, but Doctor Who with a new Doctor. So, we shall watch that now. Okay, guys, we've watched Doctor Who, the new Doctor Who series, with Jodie Whittaker as the new Doctor. What was your thoughts? I thought it was good. Thoughts of the new doctor? I thought she was good. What did you think? Me, hey, I thought it was brilliant. Um, I think she did a really good job. <clears throat> and I'm looking forward to much more. It doesn't matter to me what sex the doctor is, it's still Doctor Who. And yeah, still the same same thing. I thought the writing was really good this time. Uh, one thing I will say, it's, there was more deaths in that Doctor Who than there has been for a while, wasn't there? Mm. It was a little bit more gritty and real, I think. Uh, which I welcome, because, yeah, good writing. So, I'll give it a big thumbs up. You? Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was good. Anyway, that's Sunday night over with. It's getting quite late now, so I think it's time to call it in the vlog. And say good night and go to bed and worry about trying to sleep so we can go to work tomorrow. So with that, it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from them. Good night. See you all in the morning. Mm -hmm.